right, guys, what's up? It's Noah from yourappleplace.com. Um, what I have for you guys today is um, an application where you can upload and store your files. So pretty much it is like Dropbox, but pretty much you don't have a limit. As you can see up here, not that. There, it says you have two gigabytes. That's it. Um, once you get up to two gigs, you either have to delete stuff or upgrade your account. But this other website that I have, that I have found, um, they look just like um, an Apple website. Very sleek, fluent. I like the way it's set up. It's really easy to use. Um, they have different, um, what they call raindrops, where you can put things into uh, Photoshop, um, QuickTime, to upload your files through there. So it's really easy to do. Um, when I went to the downloads page, I only saw a download for Mac, so I'm not quite sure if it would work or not. But there it is. It's up on your uh, toolbar. Uh, it shows all of the um, the uh, files here. These aren't all of them, but it shows the top just uploaded ones. Um, if you go to the preferences here, uh, you can do the updates, settings. Um, they have raindrops for Safari, Photo Booth, iTunes, iPhoto, uh, Finder. So pretty much what you can do is you can have everything automatically update and back up your stuff. Um, you know, you can have it open up at login and have like a hotkey to upload uh, things to. So if I go in here and I click open the interface, it comes up. It's really sleek. There's nothing really to it at all. But um, right up here, you have uh, your upload file button. You can upload any kind of file. Over here, they have it uh, categorized into all the different um, file types, images, bookmarks, text, archives, audio, video, other, and what you deleted. So if you would be to click on a music file, you can download it. Um, or if you click on a link, it automatically redirects. If you click on a screenshot, uh, you can automatically see what it is there. Um, now, there is an upload limit to it every day. You only can upload a certain amount, which is, I would have to say, around maybe 100 megabytes, I would think. Maybe a little bit more than that, but it's probably about a limit around there. Um, if I would want to upload a file, let me find one here. Uh, let's see. Alright, here's a picture that I have. If I just drag it up there to the thing, it should automatically start to upload. Maybe I missed it. Let me see if it automatically refreshed. No. It usually does work, but um, just maybe just a little glitch here. Or maybe it's a, too big of a file. Let me try and find another picture file here. Because I have plenty. Let me just choose one of these. Go to my pictures, Apple wallpapers. There it goes. It's uploading. Automatically done. You get a nice success message. I refresh. Click on it. Boom, there it is. And it also gives an, an option to embed. So you can embed it on your site or whatever without even using your website's um, storage. Now they do have a pro plan, which four euros is about five dollars to American money. So you can, compared to the free, you can't have unlimited bookmarks. Uh, you can upload up to 10 files, up to 25 megabytes. So I was wrong. It was it's 25 megabytes limit a day or 10 files. Um, and you have to use their my.cl.ly. When you upgrade, you can have unlimited up to 250 megabytes a day. Um, and you use their own domain. So you can make it whatever you want. Um, 
it's a pay-as-you-go, so if you don't want it, um, you can downgrade. Uh, you just won't be billed again. You can still stay with the free, and I think you pretty much keep all your stuff there. So if you want to get this, go to getcloudapp.com. Very sleek web page. I, like, I love the way it looks. It's very simple. The pictures, um, they really give you all the... Um, the uh, information that you need um, on how to be able to do this so recommend going to it I mean I kinda think it's better than um, Dropbox just because it's it's simpler easier to use and uh, it, you don't need to do like a public I, I find Dropbox is like an FTP for websites um, if you just want to upload files or back stuff up, this is perfect for you, especially if you just want everything in the cloud. So if you go to another computer, you can be able to access everything. So that's all I have for you guys. Don't forget to check out the website. Subscribe. Thanks.